What's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Look, y'all, we're about to watch the WGN Channel 9 Evening News reaction to OTFD thing passing. So before we get started, y'all can follow me on Instagram, DJ underscore bless one, and we can rock away and do some great things over there. Go to my Instagram, salute. All right, let's start this show and let me react to it. Now at six, the brother of local rapper Lil Durk is dead after shooting at a club in Harvey this weekend. A police officer also injured. WGN's Kelly Davis is live at the Harvey Police Department. Hold on, did she really call Lil Durk a local rapper? This man is damn near an international shooting star. Y'all called him. I told you WGN News, salute to y'all, man. Y'all need to kind of get caught up on more of these people you talk about. And if you tell me they don't know hip-hop, well, don't speak about it. I'm just being respectful and honest. Like, be more professional. Lil Durk is dead after shooting at a club in Harvey this weekend. A police officer also injured. Hold on, let me rewind. Now at six, the brother of local rapper Lil Durk is dead after shooting at a club in Harvey this weekend. A police officer also injured. WGN's Kelly Davis is live at the Harvey Police Department to explain what happened. Kelly. Good evening. Harvey police tell me they were doing a routine safety patrols at Club O as it was closing late Sunday night, early or late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. That's when this all went down and multiple shots were fired. Then two hours later, another fatal shooting. Police say they are looking into possible retaliation at play here. Club O is quiet this evening, but police say there was a chaotic scene at the strip club early Sunday morning. Multiple shots were fired and lots of weapons were found at the scene. Dante Banks was killed when he was shot in the head. Banks is the older brother of locally known rapper Lil Durk. The 32-year-old th is also a rapper who performed as D-Thang. Shortly before Banks was shot, about 500 feet away, police say off... Hey, I do want to say uh, my condolences again. I, I don't know how much more time I could keep saying that. Honestly, just seeing someone's face on these type of news report. It's sad because you can see I, whether they're innocent or not. I'm just being honest. When I look at them through the pictures and all that, you see an innocence that's gone from these people, meaning that their, their life is taken away now. You're taking this individual soul. So I do hope this doesn't become a trend, but unfortunately it's a trend with people losing their life for absolutely nothing. Just for mere words we say, we, we need to be killed now. That That's unfair, man. That That's a sad life that we all got to live into, that we'll lose our life for mere words. This was shot about 500 feet away. Police say Officer E. Muhammad heard gunshots and saw someone with a gun at the club. There was some sort of altercation and the officer was shot in the thigh. A spokesperson from the police department says Muhammad was treated and released in good condition, but it's unclear if the officer was targeted or if he returned fire. Around 2 a.m. on Sunday morning, about two hours after the shooting at the club, there was another fatal shooting. Police tell me this one happened on West 55th Street, where 39-year-old Seneca Price was killed. We are still looking for more information on that shooting, but right now police say no one. It sounds like them, them OTF boys allegedly get in retaliation mode. Them get back boys going to work. I mean, we knew what was going to happen, man. You, you, you kill a prominent member like that, part of the OTF family, retaliation is going to be coming back, bro. Let me rewind it to the part where they did talk about retaliation. Hold on. Club O is quiet this evening, but police say there was a chaotic scene at the strip club early Sunday morning. Multiple shots were fired and lots of weapons were found at the scene. Dante Banks was killed when he was shot in the head. Banks is the older brother of locally known rapper Lil Durk. Watch this. Good evening, Harvey police tell me they were doing a routine safety patrols at Club O as it was closing late Sunday night, early or late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. That's when this all went down and multiple shots were fired. Then two hours later, another fatal shooting. Police say they are looking into possible. See, two hours later, another fatal shooting. Like one thing we do know, all these guys do love each other. Like that's one thing for sure. This your brother, whether in the trenches or whatever, you gonna ride for this man. You know what I'm saying? It's one of yours. So clearly, folks in them was prepared to just that when somebody get the drop on you, it don't matter how much weapons you got on you at the time. 
it's kind of a disadvantage you facing right now. It's almost damn damn near ambush tactics. Like like we back in Nam, Vietnam that is. It's, man, this PTSD for these guys is real, man. They go through what soldiers go through. I'm not saying it's the same thing. No disrespect to no military service member. I know it's a lot you guys face as well. I'm not saying it like that. I'm just saying no citizens should come grips to terms and see somewhat similarities of what a soldier go through. That's That's a crazy lifestyle. That, that's that's not right, point blank, period. Hours later, another fatal shooting. Police say they are looking into possible retaliation at play here. Club O is Told quite... You, listen. Hours later, another fatal shoot to early Sunday morning. That's when this all went down and multiple shots were fired. Then two hours later, another fatal shooting. Police say they are looking into possible retaliation at... We are still looking for more information on that shooting, but right now police say no one is in custody for any of these shootings over the weekend. Mary Lori Lightfoot and all you other people there, um, all police departments across the United States of America, sometimes in these cases, look, I'm not saying I want, I don't believe in so-called police justice. I believe in street justice, so I already got that out the way, and I explained why. It's no disrespect to the streets, no disrespect to the policemen in uniform, but it's just being real. Like, I feel like certain crimes of an eye for an eye, the family should have a right to enact that type of educational purpose. You know, Vin, well, I don't even, I, can't, I don't know if we can say that on YouTube, so I won't, I'm going to refrain from that. But at the end of the day, these cops don't really solve these murders. They become cold cases, so can you really get mad at their loved ones, friends, and families to retaliate and enact that same retaliation towards their so-called oppositions, a.k.a. ops? You you can't really get mad to a certain point when you know these guys know they're not going to... And then you're going to tell me they're not going to get help because people don't want to talk. But then, why does the cop always need the people? If you're a policeman, and I'm told since I was a younger kid or whatever that they solve crimes they protect but if you do if you solve crimes then solve it going to citizens and trying to get the answers for the crimes to me that's trying to use the cheat code i mean i think some citizens should do their part it is what it is because they're citizens they ain't part of the street life ain't nobody gonna call you a rat but i understand you don't want to be retaliated against but neither here or there bro you are a police serviceman or whatever. You're supposed to solve the crime. You're supposed to have the technologies or whatever. See what time, place, and, and the activities taking suit. So a lot of these guys know they ain't going to get the help from y'all. It's not only that they don't want to tell y'all nothing. It's also another part where they know if they did become a rat, it's not like y'all protect them, their family. It's not like you y'all make sure you do your due diligence to solve the crime. So now they're in a situation where they're, they're known and deemed as a rat and they didn't get the help and justice that they went seeking for so they're, they're trapped, bro. These dudes are trapped. I, I, I see the play, and I ain't going to be the one to criticize them the way these people do. When you hear this part here. Police tell me they were doing a routine safety patrols at Club O as it was closing late Sunday night, early, or late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. That's when this all went down and multiple shots were fired. Then two hours later, another fatal shooting. Police say they are looking into possible retaliation at play here. Club O is quiet this evening. You see a retaliation taking place, man. You got to know. What's going on, bro? It's a brazy situation. Rest in peace to everybody involved. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's wild, man. It's just like that. It's wild as hell. And it's an unfortunate situation. Once again, look, man, I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop. Over and out, man. Love your family. Love your kids. And stay blessed. Rest in peace. The OTFD thing. For real, for real. Look, y'all, go to my Instagram, DJ underscore blessed one to come rock out with the most winningest team and movement right now.